Now listen up as I take you through the journey of Merlin Santana, a promising young actor who starred in many major films and hit TV shows. The actor's life was cut down early after having relations with an unstable teen. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and watch this whole entire video so that you don't miss nothing. Merlin Santana was a young actor born March 14, 1976, but before his birth, he was only given a 50-50 chance of survival. Already, he had major odds stacked against him before he would even enter a world that would eventually cut him down quickly in his young, promising life. His mother knew that her son was special and decided to give him a unique name because he was her miracle child. She decided to name him Merlin, and it came from Merlin's Magicians from King Arthur. He was so proud of that name that he often introduced himself with the whole phrase, Merlin the Magician. His mother was approached by a talent scout because of Merlin's comedic and extroverted personality, and he knew he would be perfect for showbiz. Beginning his career in the early 1990s, Santana was best known for his role as Rudy Huxable's boyfriend, Stanley, on The Cosby Show, Marcus Dixon on Getting By, Marcus Henry in Under One Roof, and Romeo Santana on the WB sitcom The Steve Harvey Show from 1996 to 2002. He was also known for his reoccurring role on the UPN sitcom Moesha. He was casted in the play Hey Little Walter and Merlin didn't know at the time this would change his life forever. Sitting in the crowd was the one and only Bill Cosby and he was so impressed by the young star's acting chops that he would write in a new role on his hit sitcom, The Cosby Show, just for Merlin, because he knew he would blaze the silver tube. Now born in Washington Heights, New York City, to parents from the Dominican Republic, Merlin's career in show business began with a push from his parents who wanted to keep him off the tough streets of New York. He began his career at the tender age of three as an advertising model for a fast food chain. His first appearance was an extra in the Woody Allen film, The Purple Rose of Cairo, and that put a lot of eyes on the young star. Then in 1991, Merlin landed a reoccurring role on The Cosby Show as Stanley, the boyfriend of Rudy Huxtable, and the rival of Rudy's friend Kenny, aka Dean Richmond. Now he was then cast as Marcus Dixon in the short-lived sitcom Getting By, starring Cindy Williams and Thelma Hopkins. Dion Richmond was cast as his brother Darren due to their interaction on The Cosby Show. In November 1994, Santana appeared on Sister Sister as Joey who falls in love with Tia and Tamara at Rocket Burger. In 1995, Santana was cast as Marcus Henry in the short-lived CBS family drama Under One Roof, co-starring with James Earl Jones, Joe Morton, and Vanessa Bell Calloway. Between 1996 and 1999, he played the role on Moesha. In 96, he landed the role of Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. In 2001, he played the role of Jermaine in the movie Flossin. In 2002, he appeared in the VH1 TV movie Play, a hip-hop story alongside Tony Braxton. Now that year, Santana had a role in the Eddie Murphy comedy Showtime. His last television acting role was on the UPN series Half and Half, while his last film role was in the 2003 comedy film The Blues with Dion Richmond. Brandon Quinton Adams saw a red laser in his side view mirror and two men running towards his car. It was the early morning of November the 9th, 2002 and he and his friend and fellow actor Merlin Santana were getting ready to leave a home recording studio in the Crenshaw neighborhood of Los Angeles. Santana was working on a rap album, his first. Adams shouted to Santana as the sound of gunfire ripped through the night. Adams drove off as the men continued to fire at them. He turned to Santana and saw he'd been hit and he was bleeding from his head. Adams flagged down a police cruiser and officers called for an ambulance, but it was much too late. Santana's acting and music career had been on the rise. 
He had just appeared in the Eddie Murphy film Showtime. And the 26 year old already had a long television career that began when he was just a child with the reoccurring roles on The Cosby Show. He was notably best known as his role as Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. Now he was dead and a lie had caused his senseless death. Just a few days earlier, Merlin Santana and Brandon Quentin Adams were at a restaurant where they made a faithful encounter with a young woman they met who told them her name was Mercedes. She'd recognized Merlin from TV and gave him her number. On November the 9th, Santana called and invited her to the studio and she came over. What they didn't know was that she was being dropped off by two other people who were also in the car, two young men. When Mercedes arrived, she only stuck around for a few minutes, made a phone call, and then she bounced. Brandon, suspicious, followed her out and saw her get into an SUV that drove off and parked further down the street. Brandon and Merlin left a short time later. It was then that two men, Damien Andre Gates and Brandon Douglas Bynes, both in their 20s, began firing at the car, according to the Associated Press. One of the 30 caliber bullets from Damien's rifle passed through the car's trunk into the back seat and through a headrest before hitting the back of Merlin's head. A lucky shot or unlucky shot for Mr. Santana, said LAPD detective John Garcia. The LAPD arrested the mysterious Mercedes the next day and learned that she had lied to Damien Gates and Brandon Bynes, which led to Merlin Santana's murder. What really started all of this was Mercedes' false accusations that Brandon Adams and Merlin Santana had tried to forcibly have relations with her. There's no reason for her to make that accusation, and obviously that led to a series of tragic events that resulted in the death of Merlin Santana. During her police investigation, she lied multiple times before finally admitting her real name was Monique King and she was just a 15 year old and a troubled runaway. She never explained the true reason why she had lied about what happened to her, nor did she express any type of remorse for setting Merlin up to be senselessly murdered. Gates and Bynes were also arrested for the assassination. A judge had sentenced Gates to 70 years to life in prison after a jury found him guilty of first degree murder and attempted murder, according to the Los Angeles Times. Bynes took a plea deal and went to prison for 23 years. Per the Ventura County Star, Mercedes was tried as an adult in a 2004 bench trial and sentenced to a juvenile detention facility until she turned 25. So she basically got away scot-free. Police believe the evil trio's original plan was to rob Merlin Santana and Adams. They indicated, it's my belief that the suspects were going to storm the residence and gather what they could, said LAPD detective John Garcia. It was just a teenage girl that orchestrated the killing of young actor Merlin Santana. For reasons we may never know. Monique King went on to be released for her involvement with time served in her role with Merlin's death. But since then, she has had two misdemeanor arrests in Long Beach, California. She was sentenced back in February 29, 2012, and she ended up serving 20 days and then was released. She was then arrested again on March the 10th 2012 in Hollywood. She is now in her 40s and hasn't spoken out about the tragedy that she caused for a young promising actor. Now this is a tragic story of Merlin Santana, an actor who's touched all our childhoods. If you think this story is crazy, click on the link on the screen and find out what Marjorie Harvey was really doing before she met Steve Harvey. She was the real queen pin.